Yeah, yesterday we discussed here uh, what is UI, what is the use of it. Here, under that, oh, first two topics of our content we discussed. Here, what is web UI, what is the use of it, and first two topics of our content we discussed yesterday. I'll revise it and I'll continue with the today's session. Here, we are in web UI. Here, UI here it is a user interface ui is nothing but it's a user interface to create this user interactive page we have to learn that list of all topics are here html 4 and 5 css 2 and 3 third topic javascript here fourth one jquery here fifth one ajax here sixth one responsive design here responsive design then seventh one will be here bootstrap. Here eighth one will be here less and SAS programming. Ninth one is project. Tenth one is exam. So like this, I'll cover total hour duration of my content will be here next to two months. Two months I'm going to cover these all topics. Here under this UI, uh, I'll, I'll teach Monday to Friday all these topics. So, Monday to Friday, I'll take all topic sessions. Then, Saturdays, I'll go for project session. Here, Monday to Friday, I'll continue with the topic sessions. Whatever topics I'm mentioning here, these all topics I'll cover Saturday, uh, Monday to Friday sessions. And Saturdays, I'll go for one Saturday project session and another Saturday for exam. Here, generally, I'll go for Saturday sessions. Here, Saturday sessions on this. Here, next I'm going for, here, first of all, I'll explain about the title. What is UI? I'll explain. UI here, it is a user interface. So, when I enter any URL in the browser, whatever application I can create, that is what here UI. So, once I uh, create my application form, so I can see here Google, so, once I click search option here, data will be redirected to server. Here, I'm clicking on this search option. Here, I'm clicking on this search option. My data will be redirected to server. So, here, this is my UI page. Once you click search option, my data is redirecting to server. So, that server will connect to database. Here, the server page always connect to database. This is what here completely three tier architecture. If you design any website, you can see three different programming involved here. One is front end developer who developed this topic. They called as web UI developers. Here, web UI developers will create here will create this type of front end programming. Server side developers who know server programming they called as server side developers. Server-side developers, they will concentrate on the server-side program. Databases are here, Oracle, MySQL, SQL Server, MongoDB, etc., etc., all comes under server programs. Here, this server-side programming here, PHP, Java, .NET, Python, etc., etc., all comes under server programs. Here, PHP, Java, .NET, Python, all comes under server programs. Here, I'm explaining here UI. UI here, it is a user interface. Once I enter my URL in the browser, I can see home page of that application. In that, once I click submit button, my data will be redirected to server, server connected to database. So, this type of architecture you can see for our execution. Here, this type of architecture you can see here for our application development. Here, in this time, my input button is submitted. My application form is submitted. So, once it is submitted, it will redirect it to server. That resultant page, it will back to the database to server. Server will give you resultant page for us. That resultant page is also called as 
UI page for our application. This is also our UI page. Here starting page is a UI page and resultant page is also called as UI page. Here once I click submit option, here whatever data I am submitting here, data will be submitted to server. Server will give you resultant page for us. That resultant page is again UI page. This is what totally MVC architecture we will follow to design our option. Here I'm explaining here that UI. Here I'm explaining here UI in this HTML. HTML here it is a hypertext. Here HTML is a hypertext markup language. Markup means here tag based programming which like any website starting code of the application for UI development here HTML. HTML is here hypertext markup language. Markup means here it is a tag based programming. Tag is nothing but it's a instruction to the browser. Instruction to browser. We can give our instruction to the browser in the form of tags. Here, these tags, generally we will write it here, tag name start, tag name close. This is what here. I'm giving my own instruction to the browser in the form of tags. Here, this is what here, tag based programming. Tags are nothing but instruction to the browser. I can give my instruction to the browser in the form of tags. Here, these tags are... Here, you can find it here. It is a tag-based programming. Tag is nothing but instruction to the browser. I can give my instruction to the browser in the form of tags. Here, these tags, generally we will write it here in between less than and greater than. Yesterday, I showed you facebook.com. Here, if you check that facebook.com, the starting page is a UI page. After submitting your application form, you will redirect it to server. So that server page, here, if I click on submit button here, my data will be redirected to server. So whatever input I'll give, this input will go to the server programming. That server programming, you can understand here with this URL. See here, login.php. So here, server programming here, it is PHP. PHP, we are using as the server programming for uh, Facebook. Here, same way I showed you Oracle create account page yesterday. Oracle create account page is also uh, here. Oracle create account page if you check it. Here it is developed by our UI programming. But it is server code here, JSP. JSP means here it is here Java server page. See here I'm using <coughs> different, different programmings to develop my output. One is front-end development, server-side development. Here, and database development. Here, if you right-click inspect element on this, you can see here, <coughs> doc type, HTML, head and body. If you don't write the head section, just delete this head. See here, you cannot show you any output for your application. If you don't write the head section, here, output will come like this. If you don't write the head section, output will be displayed like this. Here I'm writing here doc type HTML head and body. <coughs> here is our HTML page. In this HTML page, here whatever application you can see, this is what here our UI page for our exhibition. If you check that UI page code, the standard code is doc type HTML head and body. I removed the head tag for my application. I removed head tag for my application. So output it is displaying like this. Here output for my application is displaying like this. If I don't use the head section, output it is displaying like this. Why? Because there is no CSS for my code. If I don't write the head, there is no CSS for my application. If I don't write the head section, there is no CSS code for my application. That is what here. Here like this. So once you refresh it, all will back. See here, doc type HTML head and body tag is the standard code of web page. 
Doc type here, it is a document type of HTML, HTML root tank, head tag, and body tag. If you don't write to the head, you cannot see any output for our application. See, you can see content, but there is no proper alignment for your content. If you don't write to the body tag, just delete the body tag, you cannot see any output. So, every web page will be developed by standard code of HTML will be in the form of tags. That is doc type, HTML, HTML start and close. Here only HTML start, HTML close. Under this, we can write it here, head start and close and the body start and close. Head and body tag, we use it here to develop our output. Head section is used to write CSS and JavaScript code. Here, style tag, we use it here to write CSS code. And the script tag, we use it here to write JavaScript code. Here, style tag as well as script tag, we use it here to write CSS and JavaScript code for my program. Here, I'm going to use that head and body for my application. That head section is used to write adding of CSS and JavaScript code and body section is used for writing HTML tags. Buttons, radio button, checkbox, drop down list, everything we will write it inside the body. That's why it is displaying here all these application form. Here, if you want to change the background colors, borders, text related, font related styles, if you want to change it, we can do it by the CSS. So here it is displaying here one table and one layer of uh, content under this here one more layer, one more layer like this. It is displaying something here for this. If you want to give different background color or a border or a text related font related style, if you want to give it here, I'm writing border. So uh, 10 pixel double line green color border. See here. You can see green color border, double line border for this. Create your account content. This is possible by CSS. This half code represents CSS. This half code represents HTML. Here this half part, it is the source code of HTML. This half part is the source code of CSS. So I can able to develop my application with this HTML and CSS. That output will come like this. So in this time, what I'm doing here, here only you can find it here. If you right click inspect element on this. Here you can right click inspect element on this. See here I'm, I'm able to show you one button. See here this button if you check it here. See. See here. See you can see that color changes in the button. Here this is possible by our CSS. Because of CSS programming, you can develop here this type of output for our application. Here, this type of development you can show for our execution. This is possible by here HTML. Because of HTML, you can create this type of output for our application. Next. Here, HTML completed. Under this, we completed CSS here. CSS, it gives you alignment for our application here css here it is cascading style sheet one second Here, cascading style sheet. Here only, here, cascading style sheet. This is mainly here, style part of, style part of web page. Mainly style part of the web page, we can design it with this CSS. Here only, you can find it here. Background colors, borders, text related styles, font related styles. All we are going to write it with this. Here, text. 
sorry here text related font related styles all we will get it here with this here uh, all with this css so because of css we are going to get a text related font related style for our application here i'm able to show you text related styles font related styles for my program by this css next after this what we can do it by javascript here javascript here it is javascript javascript adds functionality to our application here 2d 3d animations all we can write it with this here here 2d 3d animations all we can write it with this uh, here css etc etc all comes under css here next mainly alignment along with this here alignment of the application we will learn it with this css here not only colors here alignment alignment of here alignment of web page here alignment of web page we can create it here we can create it using css using css we can create it here alignment for our application next i'm going for javascript here because of javascript what we can do see here you can find it here javascript here javascript adds functionality to our application functionality of web page we can create it we can create it using javascript using javascript only we can add functionality to our application that it is possible by here validations if you check it here validation of the application form cookie creations local storages here what all these i'll show you here local storages session storages and uh, oop concept object oriented concept etc etc we will learn it under javascript see i showed you because of css how it is affecting because of html how it is affecting we observe now i'll submit my application form i'm getting error message error message is because of javascript this is what validation of the application form you might observe in some websites it will ask you accept cookies accept cookies it will give you one message for us whenever you open one site so if you accept the cookies then only it will allow to open that site so in that time we will create cookie concept there cookie creation we will do it by javascript here cookie creation for our application we can do it with this javascript here because of javascript we can do it here validation of the application form and cookie creation of the application form so we can create cookies we can write validations both you can do it with this javascript here after this here javascript adds functionality and it creates validation of the application form we can do it with this javascript here next to topic of our content here so because of javascript it will add functionality to our application all type of functionality we can implement it with this javascript next topic here jquery here jquery is a external library of javascript here jquery is a external library of javascript here because of javascript you are able to see this validation of the application form cookie creation of the application form all i am able to show you with this javascript so here we have to observe one thing here because of this uh, here validations and all here i am able to show you one application here i am able to show you one application with error message this error message i can do it by javascript you can create it by javascript using same script tag we can write fourth topic of our course is here jquery i am showing you each topic and each topic related practical explanation i am explaining here where we will use it in the real time site i am explaining here so by this you will get idea about the topic here you will get idea about my topic and the real usage of the topic you can understand here 
idea about the topic and real usage of the topic, you can understand. Here, here because of this jQuery, jQuery, first of all, it is an external library of JavaScript. It's an external library of JavaScript. External library of JavaScript, we call it as jQuery. You can find it here, jQuery 3.7.1.js, jQuery here, validation.js. Here only you can find it here, jQuery here, ui.js. Here only you can find it here, jQuery cycle.js. Like this, so many jQuery files are available in the market. So many jQuery files are available in the market. Because of this jQuery, you can easily develop your application. Because of this jQuery, you can easily develop your application with this. Here, jQuery is a validation of the application form. We can easily develop our validations for the application form because of this jQuery. Here, I'm able to use jQuery here. I'll show you example for that jQuery here. I'm able to show you examples for that jQuery. Here, because of this jQuery, what type of output I can create, I'll show you. Here. jQuery cycle. I'm showing one example of jQuery cycle. Because of that, what type of output I'll get it, check it. Here. All are slideshow of images, but different way of slideshow. First one is here, shuffling effect. Second one here, zooming effect. Third one, fading effect. Here, I'm able to show you slideshow of images because of this. This slideshow, whatever it is showing here, so I can show you shuffling, zooming, fading, like this, all type of effects. Here, turn down, curtain X, scroll right. So, this way of implementation, you can show here, curtain X, scroll right, all these type of effects we can show to the user by adding one of the file here, that is jQuery cycle. See here, if you want, you can see, download that plugin, then go to the cycle plugin, here go to the GitHub, here cycle, see, this is what here, jQuery cycle.all.js. In that, you can see some code. This total code is related to CSS. Sorry, total code related to JavaScript. This total code is related to JavaScript. Because of JavaScript, you can create this type of output for our application. I am able to create jQuery here, cycle.all.js. Because of that, you can show you here cyclic rotation of images. That is one of our jQuery. Because of jQuery, we can create a cyclic rotation of images like this. Here, similar way, you can show you here jQuery validation. Suppose if you search for jQuery validations. See here, you can find it here, validation of the application form because of this jQuery. Here only, if you submit your application form, here, I'm able to submit my application form. See here, submit. I'm getting here error message like this. Once you submit it, here data, what you are, whatever you are able to see. Here, once you click submit button, see here. This field is required, this value is required, this URL is optional. See this type of error message, whatever error message you are getting here. That is all because of here, jQuery. Because of JavaScript, you can implement validations. But here it is one more type of validation using jQuery. This is also one plugin. Ready-made file is available here, jQuery validation.js. With that, you can easily develop your application. So reusable code we have with uh, reusable code of JavaScript is the jQuery. jQuery only, but it is with a reusable code. That is what here by jQuery. Reusable code of JavaScript, we can do it by this jQuery. Next, I'm going for the next one here. Here, next one here, agents. Here, jQuery is an external library of JavaScript. Here, 
be completed. So next one here, Ajax. Here, Ajax, here it is here, asynchronous. Here, asynchronous JavaScript and XML. It is a combination of JavaScript and XML. We call it as Ajax. In this time, here, client will send the request to server. Here, server has to give their response to client. In this client server architecture, here, once you submit your application form, here, if you submit anything from the client without redirection, without refreshing, here, without refreshing, if we get the server output, if we get server response, if we get the server response to the client, Without refreshing the client page, without redirecting of client page, if you get the server response, that is what we call it as Ajax. In this Ajax time, you will understand here how you will get output for our application without redirection, without refreshing. That you will understand under this Ajax. Here in Ajax concept time, you will understand here how you will get output for our application without redirection, without refreshing. That is what here Ajax. Here in this Ajax time, my client is sending the request to server. Server has to give their response. See for this example here, if you check one uh, union bank is one site. Here you can see here, ask you one. Here ask you one, one button. See here, whatever I'll search it here, that related information I'm getting here. See. From the beginning, so whatever I searched here, all search results I'm getting here without uh, refreshing. In this, whatever I'm searching here, that search related output I'm getting here without redirection. Here, I'm entering skip here. See, it is asking me to main, main list ear cards. Different cards, debit card, deb credit cards, and go to the credit card. Here, debit card, rupee, de debit card. Here, like this, you are getting all information without redirection, without refreshing. Okay, one second. Here, here, without redirection, without refreshment, if you get output for our application, that is what we call it as agents. Here, I'm able to see rate of interest and NRI's account here and rate of interest NRE like this you are getting. But if you check it here, I want to know about corporate loans. I want to know about here NRI services. Here only I want to know about here. Uh, schemes. See here, it is completely redirecting and refreshing, changing the URL and displaying the output. This is what here synchronous call. If you are getting any output here, this output is because of synchronous call. Because of synchronous call, you are getting this type of output for your application. Here, we are learning here Ajax. Under this Ajax, you can see here without refreshing, without redirection, if you get output for your application, that is what here possible by Ajax. Next one here, response you design. Here, response you design time, you will understand here how you will get output for mobile phone, tablet, desktop. Here, mobile, tablet, desktop. That you will understand under response you reason. Under response you will understand how to have output for in response you then time. I'll 
Yeah. One second. I rejoined in the session. I don't have a host option. Let me get the host. I have to ask them. One second. Yeah, suddenly I lost my host, so I have to wait. Here I'm creating responsive application for my site. If I change my screen size according to the screen size, here it is adjusting according to my screen size. That column layout, see here, it is single column layout. Now if you change your screen size to column layout, here if you change your screen size, single column layout. Here, this type of output we can show for our execution. It is possible by responsive design. Next, I'm going for here responsive design. We can create it like this. Next, after this, here bootstrap. Here bootstrap, just it is a framework. It's a framework of HTML, CSS, JavaScript. HTML, CSS, JavaScript framework, we call it as Bootstrap. Bootstrap, it's a ready-made architecture. Inbuilt responsive design code is available. Just like jQuery only, inbuilt structure, we can develop it by using this Bootstrap. Because of this Bootstrap, you can easily develop your application with this Bootstrap. Then last topic here, lesson SAS. Here, less and SAS programming. Here in this SAS programming time, you will understand here it is a super set of CSS. CSS only something extra under CSS that is a super set of CSS. You will understand here in this lesson SAS how to create our application here um, with this lesson SAS. Means external CSS file, how to use it for our application that you will understand under lesson SAS. 
under lesson as you will understand here how to develop our application for different resolution that you will understand under lesson says. Here in my total programming part, here in, in my total programming part, here I, uh, here I explain here what all the topics we have. Each topic brief information I explained here. What all the topics we have and each topic brief information I explained in my content. Here, what is the use of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, Ajax, Bootstrap, Responsive Design, Lessons. Monday to Friday, topic sessions. Whatever topic will run, that topic will continue Monday to Friday sessions. Saturdays, I'll go for project. Project here, real implementation of the topic, I'll explain to you. And once one topic is over in one, under one uh, topic, if I complete one, ta one program, the program related task I'll give you. I'll give you task for my programs. So if you complete that task, you can send to me. By that, here if you complete the task, you can send to me. So by that, you will get idea about my content. Here, once you complete the task, you can send to me. So by that, you will get practical exam practical experience for that particular topic exams i'll upload one question paper see i'll create one uh, drive like this see for 6 am batch i created one drive same way i'll create one drive for your batch okay in that batch only i'll upload my all files here my drive if you check it here see 6 am drive 6 am here, recording Spain programs. Like this, you will get all files like this. Okay. Here, once I get all these files, then I'll upload all the files. Here, once I get the recording, I'll upload everyday class recording in this folder. Session number wise, I'll upload. Programs, whatever topic I'll run, the topic related programs I'll upload here. Paint file, everyday class paint file, I'll upload, upload here. So, like this, I'll upload everyday class related documents. I'll upload in this drive. So, by that, you will get here by this, you will get idea about my uh, content and everyday class parallelly. You can check it with the, my document and all. I'll create one more folder for uh, uh, one, one more folder for all batches that is weekend test. Once one topic is over, the topic related test I'll conduct in our class. Yeah, that is my plan for the coming days. And yesterday, today, we completed demonstrations. Tomorrow, link will change. Okay, I'm not going to use same link for tomorrow class. So, whoever completed registration with Durgasoft Organizer, most of the students are not lifting call from Durgasoft Organizer. So, if you are not able to answer to their call, you can't get tomorrow's link. Tomorrow, link will change. So, whoever interested to continue my batches and this is my way of teaching and sharing of notes and contact information, everything I explained. And I'll share my mail ID with you once I get your mail IDs. So, once you get my mail ID, whenever you are doing installation, programs, execution, wherever you get doubt, you can ask me in the mail. That way of practice, see here. Here, that way of practice, uh, yeah. here generally I'll cover, uh, here generally I'll cover for our yes. Here and topic wise, here topic wise, everyday programs, everyday recordings, here like the 6 a.m. drive, how I shared here. See, check it, my 6 a.m. drive, recordings folder, everyday class recordings. Here, programs folder, everyday topic wise programs. Here, a paint file, everyday class paint files. Here, documents, topic related document. This way, I'll continue my sharing of documents, sharing of files. And this is my mail ID I'll share with you. So, once you complete your registration, I will be touch with you with my mail. Up to now, if you have any doubt, you can ask us. And tomorrow link will change who are interested to continue my batch, respond to organizer call or in the chat window, there is one uh, number will be there. So contact number of Durga Soft, just contact them 
they will give you further information about my further classes. Today we are done with our demonstration. Tomorrow onwards regular session starts. Okay. If you have any doubt, you can ask please. Any doubts? Any doubts up to now? Yes, please. Yes, please. Any doubts up to now? No, ma'am. Thank you, Kamal. We'll meet tomorrow. Tomorrow link will change. Before coming to the class, contact organizer to join in the class. Got it, ma'am. Got it. Yeah, thank you. Ma'am, class is only a one hour daily? Yeah, only one hour daily. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Um, ma'am, at what the time I will teach, I will read Angular? Once I start JavaScript, that day onwards you can go for Angular classes. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Kamal. We'll meet tomorrow. Thank you.